performance Yeah, we just had probably the worst possible start we could have, and you know, credit to the Hurricanes. I think they scored it's two starter players that just played around us. They really executed that well. We 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 didn't defend well. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, you don't make it easy in a place like this if you get off to that sort of start, you know. So uh, I'm pleased that. I guess the whole theme of our week was just to find our game again. I think um, probably in the last two games, the Stormers and the Waratahs game, we, we, we didn't feel we played well. Um, so the focus really of the second half was just to, just, to, just to play the way we wanted to play and try to get, get some flow back into our game. And we thought we did that quite well. And definitely very proud of the boys for the way that they fought and, and uh, keep, comp- uh, you know, keep competing the whole way through. So, so what do you think happened in that first quarter? I mean, the Hurricanes are a very good team, you know, and they hit everything they tried, worked for them, they got their tails up. Um, um, what's happened to us in previous games is we've really fallen away when we've lost momentum of the game, and so the really the really pleasing thing out of tonight is we actually fi- found a way to fight out of that and regain control of the game, you know. So, unfortunately, we, we didn't do it uh, early enough, um, but um, uh, I think we've, we've learnt a lot from this week, you know, it's teed us up for, for hopefully a good, good run at home now when we get back. With the Australian Conference being so close, I suppose you're aiming to hopefully get some points here, but how does that set you up perhaps to try and seal top spot there? Yeah, probably more. It's more about how we play. I think that, you know we've played some good rugby this year, and as I said, the last previous two games we we didn't play well, and then that sort of started for the first bit of the first half again, um, and uh, and then we started to find some flow, you know. And I think we can beat anybody on a day when we're in flow and we're playing well, you know. We just uh, so. Mostly, I'm pleased that we showed the resilience and the and the um, and the willingness to compete and, and stay at it and, and get that back because that sets us up pretty well now for the next couple of weeks. Did you feel a bit stunned like you know, you bring back, back on par? Um, yeah, probably. I think when you come under that sort of pressure um, for the first 20 minutes, you, you tend to be a little bit stunned. And um, I think it's, that's definitely something we've been working on. We talked about it coming out of the, the Waratahs, um, where we didn't probably show enough resilience and. Um, so that was definitely a focus for us, and we, we just pretty much said this is a great opportunity to show a bit of resilience, and we, we stuck at it. And um, obviously, still disappointed with the result, but happy that the boys stuck at it for so long. What clicked off the like? Yeah, I, th- I think I think when we were attacking well, everybody's connected, and we've got a lot of variation, you know. And I think probably in the previous few weeks, we just weren't getting our timing right, and some of those things, and worked hard on that in the week, and. That started to come in, and you know we've got uh, we've got a, we've got a good playing group. That when we get that right, we're pretty hard to stop. You know, so um, um, I think the good thing is we've got a bit of confidence out of that now going as the same into this home run. Do, do you feel there should have been a yellow card in this second half? The penalty slipping up Yeah, maybe. I mean, you know, they were probably lucky not to get one, but I don't think that's I don't think that was the story of the game. You know, I thought the story of the game is uh, you know we were down and out, and we fought our way back. I think that's the that's the real thing that we take out of this. Uh, yeah, definitely. I think he definitely gave him a few warnings. Um, but yeah, I think, like Dave said, we're just happy that we were able to, to guts it out and um, almost come away with the point. And I mean, even though you lost, Dave, I mean, it, it, it sort of what you're saying, it sounds like you've taken quite a lot of positives out of this and maybe from the last half of this game getting a bit of a momentum. Yeah, I, I think the objective of this week again was to was to get you know get back to ourselves as I've said now. So um, we've got a run of home games and particularly conference games. Um, we've played most of our conference games away from home, so we get those play those teams now at home, um, and it's important that we we bring our best rugby to those games. And um, if we can we can play like we did for large parts of tonight, uh, then you know we can be very hard to stop. So we take some confidence out of that. I think. We probably also shouldn't ignore the fact that we were poor for the first couple of minutes of the game. You know, why were we poor? We've got to look at those things. Why did we start like that? Um, is there things that we can change to do that better? Because had that not happened, it might have been a very, very different story here. Yeah, yeah fortunately, everybody's everybody's good. So I haven't, I haven't run over everybody, but so far so good. Thanks.